All right, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com, and today we are going to show you how to connect a common wire to your Nest thermostat. So we've got a Nest thermostat here. We're going to show you how to do this in under five minutes. This is a super easy procedure. There's a couple different ways you can go about this, but we're specifically going to show you how to connect a common wire using a transformer like this one. So this is a transformer we've tested. We know this works with the Nest thermostats and this is what you should get for this particular procedure. Uh, we've got a link to it below in the comment section or the description, but basically how this works is when you have an S thermostat, you've got all these different wiring terminals. We got another video that kind of explains thermostat wiring and thermostat wiring terminals and all that stuff, but give you a quick overview. Um, the basic system or a normal system for an S thermostat has a W1, a RH wire, a Y1 and a G wire. Now there can be a lot of different variations of thermostats, but the concepts are the same here. So a W1 wire, that is what is your heating loop. A Y1 is what is your cooling loop. The G is fan control and the RH is power. That's all RH does. It is providing power to the thermostat in the connection so that you can have a complete circuit for the thermostat. So how this works is all you need to do is basically take the, uh, the plate here, take your transformer. Um, you're going to make your connections for everything just like they were on the thermostat that you took off with the exception of two. You are going to not connect the RH that you've got connected for your furnace. You're going to disconnect that one. That one's just going to be loose and you're going to put in one of these white wires in the RH terminal. Okay. Just like so right there. All right. And then the next thing you're going to do is you are going to take this other white wire and you're going to route it through the back and you're going to put it in the C terminal. And once you have done that, now you are providing a loop for power to constantly power the battery in the thermostat. Okay. So R H and C, you now have a completed circuit where power can run from RH into the C wire and can power the thermostat. So we're going to put the thermostat on here. I'm gonna put one more wire uh, just in the W1 uh, slot, just like you would do if you've got a heating system. And if you've got a fan wire, you'd put that in G. And if you've got a cooling wire, you'd put that in Y1. And now we're gonna put the thermostat on. So you wanna put the thermostat on before you plug this in because you don't want it to short circuit or anything like that. So this is low voltage wiring. It's not high voltage wiring or anything like that. So not uh, anything too much to worry about. All right, we're just getting this on here. Okay, all the wires are nice and tight in there. All right, so I've got this here. I'm gonna put the nest on just like so. Kind of hard to do when it's not mounted on a wall, but uh, there we go. We've got it connected. Okay, and now all we're gonna do is I'm gonna plug this transformer in. Okay, now the thermostat you can see is starting to blink. And what that means is that this thermostat has power. You can see the home coming up. And that means that we've got this thing wired. It's gonna be ready to go in a minute here, but all you need is this transformer. We got it in the links below and you wire it up into the RC terminal and the C terminal. It doesn't matter which white, white wire goes into the terminal, it's fine. You can put one in the RC and the other in the C wire. It doesn't matter which order that's gonna work with the transformer no matter what. You wire up your other wires just like you had them on your old thermostat and now you've got power to this. So uh, if you want to be able to hide these wires, you could run these in the wall. Um, be aware of local codes and ordinances and all that stuff. Um, or you could actually use this transformer, run actual thermostat wire in the wall and connect it to the existing thermostat wire if you've got an extra wire or if you wanna fish some new ones in the wall, not a big deal there. So you can see the thermostat's working on off. It's got full power. I'm just gonna show you um, what this looks like when you've got power to the Nest thermostat in the settings application. So let's see, technical info. Okay, we go to power and hopefully this will zoom in. So the, the key thing here is, I don't know if that'll focus on that. 
Um, let's see here. Okay, there we go. So what you want to have is over 20 millivolts um, or milliamps there. So you want to have over 20. This one's got 200 now that we've got the transformer, so we're good to go. But typically when you have the common wire issue, you're going to have less than 20 MA. This one's got 200 of the transformer, so it's working just fine. If you're in the range of 40, you should be good too with that. But every heating and cooling system is different. This is an easy way to add a common wire to an existing NAS thermostat if you end up having a low, problem issue, a low power issue. Another thing that you should know, I'm going to take this all apart here, is that let's say you've got low power and you need heat and cool right away, but your thermostat has worked for a while. Well, there's actually on the back here a little, it's a charging port. That's not always what it's used for. They use it to load up information in the factory on this thing, but it will also charge the thermostat. So if you need to get by for like 24 hours, 48 hours until your uh, common wire adapter arrives, your transformer arrives, you can charge this up for a couple hours, put it back on the wall, and it should work in most cases to get you through until your common wire transformer arrives. So thank you very much. Visit us at onehoursmarthome.com. Please subscribe, like this video. We hope this helped you solve your issue. And uh, go ahead and click on the link for this particular transformer. We have tested this one. We know it works with the Nest thermostat. So that's uh, where you wanna start when you're trying to solve this issue. There's a couple more advanced ways to add a common wire, but those require you going into your furnace and doing some wires and not a lot of people are comfortable with that. So this is a good option for people that are not comfortable doing wiring inside of their furnace or HVAC system. Like I said, thank you guys.